The current system is unsustainable. It is undemocratic and unjust. We need alternatives. This is where we work towards them. We are of all ethnicities, backgrounds, genders, generations, sexualities, disabilities and faiths, and no faiths. We stand together with occupations all over the world. We refuse to pay for the bank's crisis. We do not accept the cuts as either necessary or inevitable. We want regulators to be genuinely independent of the industries they regulate. We support the strike on the 30th of November and the student's action on the 9th of November and actions to defend our health services, welfare, education and employment and to stop wars and arms dealing. We want structural change towards authentic global equality. The world's resources must go towards caring for people and the planet, not the military, corporate profits or the rich. We stand in solidarity with the global oppressed and we call for an end to the actions of our government and others in causing this oppression. This is what democracy looks like. Come and join us! Boarded up windows, empty streets, while my brother's down. I got here at the start, so I was here for, for the same reasons as everybody else who gathered in the start. So uh, seeing it spring up so quickly was, was so, is, is incredible. You know, the amount of support, uh, you know, the people who want to stay here, the people who come during the day to take part in everything, the active participation of everybody, and then just people who even can't stay, they're just popping down on lunch break to give uh, uh, blankets, to give food. That kind of support is incredible. I've never seen such a wide range of society all really helping everyone like uh, for this common cause. Interesting how unified this protest is globally, um, and that I think it's just there's a common sort of uh, frustration, and um, it's something that uh, has happened in the last month as far as the mobilization, and that's pretty impressive. Global change. We have to change our minds, our heart. It's all about making a change for the whole world, really, not for individual. I mean, a lot of people have been saying, oh, to people here, go on, why don't you get a job and, you know, we don't want you here, but really, it's not about whether you, you as an individual are okay and comfortable, it's whether or not you want to share with other people. You know, if you put two people in a room, one with food, obviously you're going to have a feeling and emotion to share the food. So this is about taking the food from the 1% sharing it amongst the 99 percent it, here is the issue in any country there is going to be inequality uh, one uh, i'd say that's not true there's been um, a very good book uh, called the spirit level which has shown that the most yeah. successful societies by any measure including uh, i say drug abuse by uh, uh, general happiness by depression by mental illness the most uh, successful countries are countries like the scandinavian countries the countries uh -huh. that have the lowest in, uh, distribution between the uh, top uh, top and the bottom and quite high tax as well and, and quite high tax as Strongly, yeah. strongly redis uh, redistributed. It's to other countries uh, in, in occupation right now. Yeah. So it's like 900 other cities in the world. So I'm going to go. Uh, yeah. 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 If you have like Goldman's offices, I'm with you. Right. <laughs> I'm going to have my little tent. We're allowed. The priest I'm working on live streams, getting all the recordings that we've recorded <laughs> compiled and uh, you know edited properly. Um, what else? Social media, tweeting, uh, updating the website, taking email queries, um, making sure that all the stuff that we need in terms of supplies is Woo! tweeted. There goes the generator, so we're getting power back up that way. Yeah. When I come down here, um, absolute frustration yeah. with the status quo. Uh, I think it was a tipping point. I think it's about More time like we have to stand up for ourselves. Yeah. Now there's tears on the pillow, darling, where we sweat. It makes you think, it makes me, sometimes I feel very dark and disconsolate about the human condition and being here makes me, reawakens my love for, for human beings which is actually a great relief so I'm very grateful for the people here they, they can save me from a lot of despair. My city of ruin. I've got 
got here in my hand and you can have it if you want it for free a list of the 46 separate British military interventions in the Middle East and North Africa since the end of the Second World War. I'll come around among you and give you it. You can just note it and just see yeah, how they have been determined to fight to control that war. Okay. The people who are here are brilliant during the day, the people who are coming in the evening after work, the people who are watching on the internet, everyone um, is brilliant and amazing and well done. We want the daily meetings, uh, uh, the summaries of the General Assemblies and the meeting times for the different working groups to be posted on the website. As outreach, we think it's really important to have a welcome space so people are just wandering along or they're interested. There's a really nice space that they can come along and feel welcomed and find out a little bit more. A uh, point that everyone's talking about is connections. As well as looking global, we also need to look internally. We need to look and use this site as an epicenter. We need to make sure that we're all talking to each other before we start reaching out further. It's important to continue working on refining the message we have so that by Saturday we're able to be probably more concrete. But we also agree that it's important to, at this stage, keep the message broad and open because we still aim to grow and include more people into the movement. Yeah,